Hello guys, my name is Delfino Juarez. This is my first YouTube video on how to fix the fans that go on the on this Matrix 1000 version 2, uh, the B52 Professional 700 watt three piece system active speaker system. Now, for me, for my use, this is very a very good system but the problem that I had is that the all of a sudden the fans stopped working the fans on this side and on this side all of a sudden they wouldn't work and of course uh, after playing uh, with you know with the system or using the system I found that you know it, it's hazardous you don't want to blow up your system for not having good good airflow so uh, I consulted with uh, my brother who's a, a better electrician than I am and so we figured out a way and we're passing on tips on how to basically fix the issue of fans uh, very cheaply uh, at home so basically what you do you tip your uh, B52 matrix 1000 version 12 over I have done this in my living room and what we found here when you tip it over uh, you're gonna find a couple of um, screws, uh, one, two, three, four, five on each side, um, pretty much, all around the uh, the subwoofer. You're gonna take those out. Okay, you're gonna take those out. Uh, it's I, I used uh, a handy little drill, uh, electric drill. This thing is very handy. It was very quick, and so you're gonna take out. The screws, okay, the screws that go on these sides, you know, very simple. Uh, you can figure that out. Take them all out, put them in a place where you won't lose them. I use my wife's little uh, desert cups. She won't like that. Uh, and then we, you know, with the hand, with the help of, of somebody else, you basically take this, the, this uh, little console off and I'm gonna ask my brother Horatio here to help me so pretty much you take them off tip them off like as that and let's show them again it's very simple you pretty much grab it and you tip it over like that make sure somebody's holding on and then you're gonna see the interior circuit boards okay you're gonna have these two cables right here you're gonna take these off go ahead if you can show them how to take that off and I'll, I'll try to light and do the camera at the same time I like take that off you might want to take a picture of how these cables go so that you don't forget when you're putting it back together Black and red, you take those off. You notice, guys, that what I did before the video is that I actually disconnected all of the subwoofer. I disconnected the whole subwoofer from the power, of course. You don't want to have any power. I know that's silly to say, but it's important. You don't want to cause any fire hazard or do any damage to yourself so here it is this is the the side up of the circuit board and what you're gonna find here is you're gonna find five fuse boxes okay uh, the first one is gonna be let me try to position this the first one's gonna be this little box this little box that he showed you right here you can you can go ahead and show them how to with a little little thing there you click click it off and you're gonna find a blow fuse now what volts are these what amps I believe they're five amps these are five amps five amp blow fuse another one on this side another one on this other side on these extreme areas another one there and then you're finally gonna find a, a little weird fuse holder on the last, show you a better angle, on the 
on this little smaller circuit board, you're gonna find one in there, and, what, and that one's different. Uh, for me, for, for this issue with the fans, that was it. We actually, go ahead and if you can show them how to open that, you're gonna you know, try to stick a little uh, screwdriver in there, flathead screwdriver. Okay, and you pop it out. There's the blow fuse, I'm trying to get a better angle here. And what we did, we, we actually used a voltmeter. You can get you can get one of these voltmeters at Amazon. Very cheap. I got one for like eight bucks. I didn't know how to use it. I had my brother uh, figure out how to use it. He knows more about this than I do. And we tested all the fuses, right? So we tested the fuses for for voltage or amps. They all tested out fine except this one. This is the one that did not work. Uh, it did not, just on visual, you know, you couldn't see that it was burnt out, you know, the, the, the fuse or anything. When we tested it here, there was no, no voltage or, or amps coming out of it. So we knew right then that that was a problem. We went to a store. You can go anywhere with where it sells electronics. We got a blow fuse. 5 amp 250 volt fuse and we replaced it in there now notice that radio shack of course we got we got that little promotion there but we noticed that when we took that fuse out it actually said one amp it said one amp and we replaced it with a five amp you know we're rationalizing why would they put a one amp fuse for a fan I don't understand but anyways, we increased it for a five amp. Uh, why would you Why would you put in a a, a fuse for a, for a fan? Is beyond me. I don't understand that. But anyways, we replaced it, and that seemed to do the job. We then went ahead and put this back together once we we closed the fuse holders. Let me, let me try to help here. So again, you, you're going to put it, try to get somebody's help. You're going to put it, try, try to put it on this angle. Just enough so, just enough so, so that you're able to uh, to make the connections. Here, let's, let, let, me, let me flush it a little bit forward. So you make the connections. There are the connections, sorry for the bad footage. Um, black, red, and then the power, I believe. So there you go, we're connecting everything back together. And let me help him here. Put, make sure that they, let's make sure that the, uh, that you're not pinching any of the cables in there underneath. Once that's nice and, and snug, then all we need to do is test it. And to test it, we're gonna put the power cable. We're not gonna screw the, the oh, maybe, don't scratch my floor now. We're not going to put the screws yet because we just want to test this. But once we make the connection, we power it on, and voila. The beauty of the, of the sound of the fans working. You have now changed the fuse. That was the problem. It is now working. You can see right here, this was not working for a long time. I was very nervous that my, my equipment would get messed up, and now after a few minutes, you know, we're finally back in business. We're ready to play music and we're, we're all dandy. So that's it. You, you're, you're gonna then just take the screws that you took off in the beginning. You're gonna screw those back in. If you have a little power drill, that's a little helpful. Try, make sure that, you know, you're, you have a low power on that you don't want to 
it's wood so you can actually uh, mess up those holes if you if you use too much force so that's it folks we uh, we have now fixed the fuse problem um, there is another fuse out here uh, that they recommend you know of course if the fuse out here blows what, what would the fuse out here be oh, right here this is the fuse This is it right here. I believe it's a 10 amp fuse right here. And if, of course, if your system ever stops for whatever reason, that may be the number one cause. So thanks folks for, for listening. Um, uh, press like if you like this video and enjoy. Hope, hope that it's as helpful to you as it's been for me.